guys, so I am here for one last bee video of this season, which of course I wintered down all the bees. Now we gotta clean up this mess. Our suits aren't in that much of a bad, you know, a bad way in the way of stains and that sort of thing. However, the bees try and sting you through the suits. If they're in, if you catch them on the wrong day, they're in a bad mood and you annoy them, yep, they'll try and sting you through the suits. And when they sting you, they leave they leave as pheromones the word they leave behind a scent and you really want to get rid of that because that can serve as a warning to other bees that hey danger enemy coming not so much for aesthetics but i like to give the suits a wash because you just want to get rid of the scent of last season the scent of all the stings and that sort of thing i will also show you the best way of getting propolis and stuff off the gloves. Now, spoiler alert, you're not going to get rid of these stains. These are here for good until you buy a new set of gloves. <laughs> but I'll show you the best way of getting most of the solidy, sticky stuff off. Just got a tub of slightly warm water. Bar of soap, normal bar of soap. I just use the value brand from the local supermarket. Now, you don't put these in, well, you can put the suits themselves in the washing machine, but not the hoods. Now our hoods are actually connected to the suit, so I can't separate them, so I'm just going to give the whole thing a bit of a scrub down. Now you don't really, I mean everyone's got their own technique. Some people use bleach on them, some people just use like washing powder, just I'm going to give these just a bit of a soak in the bath after this. But I just get my soap, get my water, dunk it in, and literally just give it a bit of a scrub. Now, if you are washing them in the washing machine, do not put them in with other normal clothes. We were told this by um, the person who, uh, our mentor, I guess you call him, the person we originally got the bees off. Apparently, it can actually trigger allergies and stuff. I've sort of, I've tried looking that up, but I can't find anything else that tells you that. But, it's not we were told, so, you know, passing on that bit of knowledge. I've actually heard of people using um, dishwashing liquid as well, to try and get all the stains and stuff out of their suit. As I say, the, just the smell of the stings is our main concern, not so much getting it looking pristine. But yeah, you, you go out and check on your bees and you know, you go there smelling of bees that have previously stung you, then um, you're pretty much putting a target on your back and you're just going to wrap the bees up, so... Now is it also a good chance to just check all your seams and stuff and make sure there's no little holes. I can't cut this bees out, I can see. That, that seam is just starting to come a bit loose, so just mental note. Once I've cleaned these, give them a sew up. Now chuck them in the bath. As far as the gloves go, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put them on. Now, I I don't think these are leather. I don't think these are proper leather. I'm not sure. They were fairly cheap beekeeping gloves. Buzz work wear. If you have got proper leather, leather gloves, and after you do this, you want to put some, uh, you know, leather conditioner or something on afterwards. Just, just help keep them, keep them in good condition. So I've got a bucket of warm water, probably slightly hotter than warm. The gloves there. Not sure how well you can see how grotty they are, but give them a wee dunk. And as I say, this isn't going to get the stains out, but it will just get rid of all the, the stickiness that that propolis leaves behind. So of course those bees, they designed that propolis to not come off anything. They're pretty awesome. <laughs> Those up to hang those up to dry. 
chuck a scoop of laundry powder over them. Turn the tap on and I just give them a, a not hot but a slightly warm soak in that water for a while. Look at the colour of that water already. <laughs> nice. For the next plan of attack, I'm just going to turn the cold tap on. Let the let this water drain out. I'm just going to give them a good rinse. And then hang them up to dry. When you're hanging these out to dry, you don't want to put them out in the sun, you want to put them in a shady spot. So they're a bit sopping wet for inside, so I'm actually just going to stick them in a shady spot on a clothes horse and just let them dry off nicely. Right, so I'm just next to the cardboard fort the kids have built. However, <laughs> I've just had these drying off inside just because it's pouring it down outside, so I can't even dry it in the shade. But um, yeah, so Olivia's one's still hung up. But they came out nice, they smell so much better. <laughs> Which is the main thing. I mean there's still there's still a few stains and whatnot, but you get that. That's that's just part of being a beekeeper. You you gotta have stains. And same with the gloves, you know, they've dried off now. They've still got they've still got stains on them. However, they're not sticky. Whereas before they were they were really, really sticky. And I mean, as I say, that propolis, you're not gonna get it off. But it's not sticky anymore. The smells have gone. Some of the stains are gone, but not all of them. So there we go. Hit like, leave us a comment, subscribe, and we'll update you as to how the beehive did this year after winter. Bye.